Hi everyone and welcome to our final topic for this semester. Our final topic will be focusing on environmental issues caused by human impacts, specifically on waste generation and waste management. Specifically, our objectives for this week's session is for you learners to be able to explain how different types of waste affect people's health and the environment, reflect on how human activities affect the environment, and cite ways of reducing the production of waste at home, in school, and around the community, even in the midst of a pandemic. Now before we go to our discussion properly, let us first watch this video. Alright, from what we have just saw, I want you to share your thoughts. Now first is, what story were you able to get from a very short clip? Although it was animated, although it was quite humorous, but I'm pretty sure that there is a lesson that we can get from that video. Now what lesson then have we learned from that video? Thank you for your insights. Now, personally, for me, what I have learned is that one day, Mother Earth will definitely teach us a lesson. And to prevent that from happening, it is very important that we discuss environmental issues, specifically on waste generation and how to manage our waste properly for us to prevent the consequences of our actions. Now, a little bit of background about waste generation. In the world today, the world generates at least 3.5 million tons of plastic and other solid waste a day, which is 10 times the amount of waste produced a century ago, according to the World Bank researchers. Now, do you know which country is known to be the trash king? It is the United States. It is known to be the king of trash, producing a world-leading 250 million tons a year. And that is roughly 4.4 pounds of trash per person per day as of May of 2018, which is quite alarming because as population increases, the amount of waste being produced per day also increases. Now in the Philippines, 35,580 tons of garbage is generated in every day. On the average, each person, we Filipinos, we produce about a half a kilo of garbage every day. In Davao City, we are producing up to 400 to 600 tons of garbage which is collected by Davao City Environment and Natural Resources or CENRO. These wastes are dumped at the sanitary landfill, and this fact is as of January of 2020. Now, what are the common waste generated worldwide as of 2017? First in the rough is 67 million tons. We have the paper and paper boards, which is why we must continue to practice ecotineo in our daily lives, especially in the use of paper, which is why in Ateneo, we are not that strict if you'll be using scratch paper because if that paper could still be reused and if that paper, if you could still write your answers legibly and clearly, then it will not be a problem. Second on the rank, the most generated waste worldwide, we have food, which is 15.2%. 40,670,000 tons produced in 2017, which is very sad, which is why do not 
put food on your plate that you cannot consume because leftovers could really be a sad waste generated third on the rank we have plastics paper and paper boards and foods these are ways that can easily degrade over time however plastics on the other hand could really impose a solid waste management problem as these does not degrade easily it degrades over decades or even a hundred of years and that could accumulate in our environment and impose different kinds of problems and with that we have to discuss the arising global problems due to solid waste accumulating in our society in the world at large now, a few problems number one global waste production accounts to five percent of global emissions as of 2016 and that number is expected to grow to 2.6 billion of metric tons by 2050. Also, solid waste blocks canal drainages, resulting to a more frequent flood, a distracting odor in our community, and it may also attract pests that may carry diseases. Thus, the community health is at stake. Underdeveloped countries such as the Philippines have also underdeveloped waste management infrastructures. And with that, we make use of open dump sites in poorer countries, and these may impose multiple hazards in the form of a deadly landslide, which may be exacerbated by weather events or pollution in waterways, as we have discussed in week 10 on how we affect the ocean water and fresh water. Now, what must be done to address these problems? Easy. We must have a proper waste management. Although we have government agencies who are doing their parts in <coughs> managing our waste, but it wouldn't harm us if we could also manage our waste at home, even in the midst of a pandemic. Now, a few examples and common ways to treat waste. Number one, by use of landfills. It is the most popularly used method. It is basically burying waste in land, and landfills are commonly found in developing countries, including the Philippines. Incineration, on the other hand, is basically burning solid waste at high temperatures. It converts waste into residues and gaseous products. This is widely popular in countries where landfill space is no longer available, such as in the U.S. and Japan. The third common way of treating waste is by recycling. The idea behind this is to reduce the energy usage, to reduce the volume of landfills, and to reduce pollution and even greenhouse emissions, which may result to global warming, and also preserve natural resources for future uses. Now, what are the littlest efforts that we can do? First, we can take reusable bags to the store when shopping. Instead of taking advantage of the plastic cellophanes to bag our groceries, why don't we bring eco-friendly bags which we can reuse every time we shop? Also, reduce or minimize the use of plastic bags, polystyrene foam, and eliminate the use of paper plates and cups as these materials takes hundreds of years before it completely degrades. Donate unwanted slightly used clothing, furniture, and other households to local nonprofit organizations. So instead of throwing it to waste, if it's if it can still be reused by others, if it can be revamped to a different use, then why not donate it? And also avoid food leftovers. And of course, the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Now let us watch this video as we synthesize what we have learned today.
Now with that video we just saw, I want you to imagine. Imagine what could be the worst case scenario if you will not change our ways. If you will not change the way we treat the solid waste that we are producing every day. Now also imagine what if everyone will make an effort. Everyone will follow ways to lessen waste production. And I want you to reflect on this. As a sui generis leader, as an authentic Athenian leader, how will you promote and perform proper waste management in your community? Now let us review. Name one problem caused by waste generation. Now enumerate the common wastes generated worldwide as of 2017. Now what are the three examples of treating wastes? Name and explain two little things that we can do to help solid waste management. Very good. Now on the Hortado, I want you to answer the following reflection questions. How do you think human waste production affects our environment? And second, cite at least two ways of reducing the production of waste in the midst of a pandemic. Thank you for listening and please be reminded to update and complete your missing formative assessments. Thank you and God bless everyone.